What's up guys, Luke here with Luke's Points and Miles and today we're going with our third installment in our series on credit card transfer partners. Today we're going to be talking about the Citibank Thank You Points program and I personally think it's a bit underrated. Not only does this program offer transfer partners but with Citi, Thank You Points can also be redeemed for cash at one cents per point. They have some wacky rules and maybe not the best customer service, but they do offer some great earning cards. And if we ever get to see another generation of the prestige card, then that's a big bonus too. If you haven't seen our first two videos focusing on the transfer partners of American Express and Capital One, I will link those videos in the description below. And also if you haven't seen either of those two videos, the point of this video is not to be a how-to on booking crazy redemptions, but it's a breakdown of the transfer partners and I will give you an example or two of a great redemption. If you have seen the prior episodes, these examples will likely be different from before. And finally, if you've seen all three episodes, you will probably get three different examples from some of these partners. This should give you a perspective on the versatility of the transfer point. Also, I want to point out that all the airline transfers in this video are at a rate of one to one. No fluff today. Click that subscribe button and let's get it. Our first partner today, you should be familiar with by now. It is the Sky Team member based in Mexico City, the Aero Mexico airline. We've talked about this partner a few times and it's worth noting that they work closely with Delta Airlines, who actually owns a large stake in the airline. Some very interesting redemptions we haven't mentioned with Aero Mexico is flying from Atlanta to Johannesburg, South Africa on Delta One for 202,000 miles. Or spend the same number of miles for LAX to Sydney, also in Delta One suites for the same price. Asia miles are the currency issued by Cathay Pacific, the One World Alliance carrier based in Hong Kong. With Asia miles, you can book a round the world trip on One World partners totaling 50,000 actual miles flown. The awesome part is this trip includes up to five stopovers. You must end in the same city you start and you can book this in business class for around 210,000 Asian miles. That redemption is no doubt one of the best in the game. Avianca Life Miles. Avianca is a Star Alliance member bringing a ton of versatility. The airline is headquartered in Colombia and you can use Avianca Life Miles to fly on United's Real Polaris business class to Tel Aviv for just 63,000 miles. Tel Aviv is a super great destination for anyone wanting to see the holy sites in Israel and the surrounding areas. Choice Privileges. Now, City does have a couple hotel partners and most of you may laugh at Choice Privileges, but here's why you shouldn't. The transfer rate is one to two. So every thank you point you transfer, you'll get two choice points. If that still doesn't move the needle, I found a pretty good destination to use the points. Take a trip to anywhere in Scandinavia, that is Norway, Finland, and Sweden, and you'll find plenty of choice branded hotels with free breakfast, and I have heard reports that some even offer free dinner. If I ever get deep into the thank you points system, I am using this redemption. Guys, if you like this video or you get any value from it at all, please slap that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna stay on top of the credit card game, subscribe to the channel. Emirates Skywards. Based in Dubai, this Middle Eastern carrier is great for last minute flights to Dubai from Europe and Asia on Emirates first class suites from 135,000 miles round trip. For those of you that think the idea of flying from Europe or Asia to Dubai is crazy, I want to remind you that the deeper you get into these award redemptions, the bigger your plans can be. It is completely doable to book the craziest itinerary with the right stash of transferable points. Etihad Guest is the second big Middle Eastern carrier on this list. They are based in Abu Dhabi and I would definitely recommend a visit there and to Dubai. Two places on a lot of lists that are pretty fun to see. Use Etihad to fly from JFK to Belgrade, Serbia in business class for just 64,000 miles or just 45,000 in economy. If that redemption sounds random, it's 
the third or fourth cool redemption I've seen, and I can't tell you how cool I think it would be to visit that part of Europe. Ava Air is based in Taiwan, and they are a bit difficult to figure out. So if anyone has any experience or any examples of using these miles, please post them in the comments. As of now, I really can't recommend this transfer. Air France, KLM Flying Blue. This is a very popular transfer partner for just about everyone. They're a Sky Team member based in Paris, France. We've mentioned several super cool redemption in the previous videos, but here's another. You can book flights from the Caribbean to Hawaii round trip for 25,000 miles. That's significant because that's a lot cheaper than some of the mainland to Hawaii redemptions. I'd love to try it out. JetBlue is a domestic carrier based in New York and a very popular one from what I've heard. A really cool way to redeem these points could be to book a round trip flight to Havana, Cuba from JFK for just 11,000 miles. Qantas Airlines is from Australia and a member of the One World Alliance. And I've mentioned a lot of very high priced redemptions previously, but how about booking a short round trip economy ticket on American Airlines for just 16,000 miles. If that's not cool, then how about East Coast to Europe round trip on American Airlines for 40,600 miles? I like it. Qatar Avios. Based out of Doha, Qatar, this is the nicest airline I have ever flown. They are a member of the One World Alliance and they run the world famous Q Suites. Fly US to Doha on those Q Suites and pay just 69,500 avios. Or if that's not your thing, how about Qatar Airlines first class to Europe for the same price? Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer is definitely a favorite for many folks. This Star Alliance member is based in Singapore and is known for its big league service. A couple great options I saw were LAX to Tokyo or Seoul and first class for 120,500 miles. Not headed that way. How about West Coast to Costa Rica or Mexico on Alaskan Airlines for 13,500 miles. Thai Royal Orchid is a Thai airline based in Bangkok and is a member of the Star Alliance. The most interesting redemption I could find was Houston to Rio de Janeiro, one way on United Polaris business class for 65,000 miles. Who doesn't want to visit Rio? Well, if you don't, you can travel from North America to the Caribbean on United starting at just 17,500 miles. Turkish Miles and Smiles is a member of the Star Alliance and I will finally reveal the best redemption in the game. With Turkish Miles and Smiles, you can fly from the contiguous US to Hawaii from 7,500 miles or 15,000 miles round trip. That's not great enough. How about Newark to Honolulu in first class for 12,500 miles? Do your research for the process of booking that one. It does not seem to be super difficult. And again, we have Virgin Airlines. Virgin Airlines once again makes a list. This UK based carrier partners with just about everyone and have almost ran out of great redemptions that I feel would really move the needle. Almost. How does this sound? Transcontinental Delta One flights for 22,500 miles. If that doesn't get you going, how about New Zealand to the US business class for 125K? Pretty cool. Guys, I will end this with a second hotel partner. Wyndham Rewards. Now, Wyndham has seemed to gain a lot of momentum lately and there are plenty of reasons to use their reward system. I wanted to pick a specific redemption, so I picked the Reef Resort in Grand Cayman. It's an all-inclusive resort and it is beachfront for 30,000 points a night. So guys, what do you think? Does this change the way you think of thank you points? Does it change the way you think of travel options? So. In the comments below, do we have any big time city card people here? If so, what are you doing with your thank you points? I also want to remind everyone that if you enjoy this sort of content, let me know by slapping that like button and subscribing. It will help me determine the, the type of content you want. 
Also, don't forget to check out all my links in the description. They are a great way to support the channel. I understand this is the third video in the series and it might get a bit repetitive, but I really enjoyed doing these videos because I've learned so much. Gang, if you have stayed around all the way to the end, I really appreciate every one of you. Thanks.